What's up, y'all? Rob Anderson with Clean Power Wash um, and Delmarva Christmas Lights and whatnot. Um, wrapping up another crazy year. Um, I know I said I was going to be reviving the channel, and, and uh, we've, we've been busy. We've had a lot of a lot of things have happened this year. We've had a, a full turnover of staff. Um, we have managed to hit a million, uh, hit almost 1.1 this year. Uh, way less growth this year than previous years, but with all the turnover, um, it's something that still happy with where we ended up. Um, excited for what we've built as far as a new foundation, new team, um, what we've been able to do with Christmas lights, continue to grow that. We, we managed to do our biggest commercial job ever. We had our biggest July ever uh, because of that commercial project uh, that ended up, that client alone has been over 70 grand. Uh, which is phenomenal to, to be able to go from, I think our biggest project prior to that was in the 25 to $30,000 range and to jump like that is, is a huge jump. Um, we have obviously amassed a more equipment, more products. Um, it, it's kind of fun this year. Our, our lights did not grow as much as I would have liked to, but what that meant was with the excess inventory we had from last season, um, we were able to be way more profitable. We spent very little on new Christmas light supplies. We bought some cool things like orchard ladders for the Christmas lights, which is a lot of fun to have those now. Um, we now have our full-time office manager. Uh, we have full-time actually marketing person who has actually done a really good job closing sales, um, generating new revenue, and really excited about what she's gonna be able to do for us in the future, uh, or do for the business in the future. Um, currently looking all at business expansion options, um, new properties, um, or a new property, I should say, uh, which will be really cool. Um, things are in the works, working on um, getting the business financials and everything, the personal financial statements and all that stuff together, um, which guys, it, it's, um, you know, as, as you grow your business, figuring out what you need to do. And so I'm gonna just make this bigger as I'm looking at myself on the computer screen. Um, what you need to do from a bookkeeping, accounting, all that kind of things, what you need to do to make yourself bankable. Um, you know, the, the building that we're in is, is a massive 12,000 square foot shop. Um, and kind of knowing like what we would want to do long term, you know, we wanted to own another building. Um, we don't own this one, we rent this one, but what we would need to do to you know be able to get a loan for a million dollars you know you gotta you gotta start financing somewhere um we're able to get a couple more vehicles uh with ford motor um uh, some financing there as well and, and guys i want to be clear like debt obviously can be dumb debt can be part of your your growth strategy it can you know don't be stupid about it but um we certainly have gone through and been able to expand things faster, been able to have more reliable trucks with the flatbeds that we bought two years ago. Um, we bought a couple more uh, sales vehicles. We bought another work truck this year. Uh, we'll be upgrading and replacing some of the older trucks this year as well, or coming into 24. Um, and I'm really excited like with where we're at right now. And really when you look at it, I mean, um, 21 we did 960 last year we did 1050 and this year again like 1 million 90 um you know we're kind of plateauing a little bit but i think really had we not had the turnover that we did this year um we would have been in the 1.3 1.4 range and we, we are going to be putting the, the pedal to the metal next year really trying to grow really trying to continue to level up the business um grow the team um spending a sizable amount of time on more training videos, um, being able to use our virtual assistant who's been phenomenal this year. That was, that's honestly one of the, the biggest wins for us this year is getting uh, Martin on board to be able to assist with so many of the tasks and things that are bouncing around in my head that I need to be able to get done. Um, our video editing has been phenomenal from him. Um, the amount of content that he's producing or that he's taking I've always done a good job, you guys know, uh, of making the content. It's it's polishing it. It's making it look better. Um, all those things that are things that, as a virtual assistant or a dedicated person for those things, has been able to make us more effective on that. Um, 
you know, when I when I look at what we did this past year, um, you know, it's it's interesting to see. And I've posted it before, but if you're not doing this already, you need to have a KPI tracker for year over year revenue. You know, looking at what was your gross revenue per month so you can see, hey, January of 23, 22, 21, 20. Okay, hey, this is where we should be at so that you can create those smart goals so you can see where you're at. Um, you know, hey, uh, this past April was actually bad weather compared to last April, but we also had a commercial job, uh, our commercial client that shifted. We moved most of that revenue from April into March this past year. And so we had a six figure March and previous years was like 65,000. So looking back at those and being able to set notes, see what changed, um, we're actually going to have, uh, Martin's going to be working on a weekly um, tracker so that we can really see those things and we can see and do a better job of setting weekly goals, uh, both for production, for the office, uh, for sales. So we can see those things as we're going through. Um, it's exciting. It just really like where we're heading, um, like what we're building. Um, and it's good having more people around me. We've, we've got a full-time warehouse person now. Uh, which has been good to have him overseeing the crews and stuff. We're still, we still don't have the person in the service manager position or general manager, which is the next big spot for us to fill. So I've been filling some stuff on sales, but mostly um, overseeing production, um, which is something that, you know, in order for us to grow and, and um, current book I'm reading, Buy Back Your Time, um, be able to have that freedom is going to require a little bit more work to be done there. Sorry about that. Just got a delivery. Um, but anyways, just just reflecting on the year. Um, it's been a crazy ride. We've had a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Um, again, the turnover really realizing how much we've lost in experience with those crews, with those people that have left uh, for a wide variety of reasons and things. And knowing um, I need to do a better job. Um, we need to build teams with the right people um we had basically two full turnovers um or had some remnants that left some i don't know we we had a experienced experienced group that left and then we brought in a bunch of people that we were quite frankly trying to fill fill seats um and paid paid the consequences perfectly honest it's it stinks to have to say that but i mean we we had some we had a lot of bad culture. We had a lot of um, people in the company that, you know, simply vaping during meetings, falling asleep during meetings, um, blatant disrespect, um, that I didn't do a good job of eliminating faster. Um or working on things this coming year or handbooks being redone. It's crazy guys. When I first started power washing, I would not have thought that I would get to a point where we have a 36 page, uh, handbook. It'll probably end up being 40 pages by the time we're all said and done. Like these, these are bigger company problems. Um, you know, right now where you've got basically 15 people, 16 people on staff. Um, it actually might be more than that. Um, but those are the things that as you grow, as you, you know, you hit that seven figure mark or hit even just half a million, you realize all these things and you, you've now got a serious business. You've now got, you know, you have a target on you, you know, you have to protect yourself. You have to spend the time documenting situations. Um, you know, we, we've got somebody who, um, put in our first ever BBB complaint, um, crazy situation. Uh, but knowing, you know, how much we've had to document situations, how we need to protect ourselves and, and, um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. The things that, you know, here I am many years later, what I'm still continuing to learn day in and day out in the business. Um, looking forward to 24, looking forward to going to a whole lot of events, um, expanding out our offerings. We're going to be offering landscape lighting soon. We're going to get more into the permanent RGB, lighting um one of the big goals for next year is going to be hitting that million and just washing um and probably 
at least a 50% increase, if not more, in our Christmas lights revenue. We're really hammering that down. Um, I'll, I'll share more with, if, if and when we get that other uh, location, but that sets us up um, geographically for expansion um, and better servicing to a, a, a good a nice nice financially uh, rewarding area in our market um, and it's kind of cool it, it's going to be closer to my house so again fingers crossed that we get it um, so yeah anyways just wanted to check in with y'all hope you're having a great year or had a great year um, don't sleep on the winter be finding those ways that you can work on and improve your business um, set yourself up for future success and um Make sure that you're also setting aside a good chunk of money in those good days so that you can handle that winter and uh, be able to enjoy those things. So anyways, have a great day. See y'all.